Hey friends, my name is Avery. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can upload a custom thumbnail to your YouTube Shorts. Then at the end of the video, I'm also gonna to touch a little bit about why you might or might not want to have a custom thumbnail for your YouTube Shorts. Okay, so at the time of recording this video, the only way that you can actually update a thumbnail for your YouTube Short is from the desktop view of uh, YouTube Studio, and your short has to already be posted publicly. So we're gonna hop into the desktop view, uh, go into your YouTube Studio, click on content, and then pull up the video that you would like to update. Now at this point, this is gonna look pretty similar to how you would update any video. Here on my screen, I do have some extra features from TubeBuddy. So we're just gonna scroll down here to upload thumbnail. And then from there, it's basically the same. So we're just gonna click on upload thumbnail. We'll find our thumbnail in here. So here I have my beautiful uh, thumbnail that I just made for this example. And so I'm going to open that and then we have that there. Um, and then it's basically just like any other uh, YouTube video, the exact same process, but now you have successfully uploaded a thumbnail, a custom thumbnail for your YouTube short. So you've successfully added a custom thumbnail to your YouTube short. Now, why would or wouldn't you want to actually be doing this? Well, for starters, this only actually shows in YouTube's desktop view. If you're just browsing shorts on the mobile app or even go directly to someone's YouTube page, if you're on mobile, it will not actually show any custom thumbnails. So basically, if you're making these shorts for your mobile audience, or if your analytics confirm that your shorts are being viewed by primarily mobile viewers, is this actually an area where you wanna put in the extra effort and add these custom thumbnails? I have my thoughts, but I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. Now, the upside to having these custom thumbnails is it does allow you to brand your channel a little bit more effectively, at least until YouTube figures out some way to better display these shorts, like, I don't know, a uh, separate page maybe? If you brand your YouTube shorts effectively, it helps your viewers know that they're getting a short rather than some weird random vertical video even directly on your channel's homepage. Now for me at this stage in my YouTube career, this really isn't something that I'm particularly concerned with. My shorts numbers aren't really affected by a uh, thumbnail, so I don't find the effort it takes to create a clickable thumbnail to be worth it. Now maybe this will change as YouTube changes the way they push these videos to different parts of their audience, but for now, it just doesn't really matter to me. Now, if your numbers show otherwise, I think this would be a really great step and a really great opportunity to help you grow your channel. Don't just do something or don't do it because I do or don't do it. Really take a deep dive into your analytics and let them be the driving force on whether or not to make these types of decisions. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and joining our small but growing community. Be well, I'll see you guys in the next video.